What's good, y'all? Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Now you guys doing on this Monday. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. We have David. We're we're panda. We're panda. I couldn't find any highlights of him on YouTube, which is kind of weird. I'll just you know I'll just think they have highlights, but um apparently not. So there's no highlights for him. So we can just listen to him reflect on his magical career, man. Also, thank you guys for 300, 300 subs. We did pass 300 subs, man. Big ups, big ups. So, if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that like and sub button. I mean, I appreciate it. How you grateful for it. Also, I, I am dropping a another AFL video. I think it's going to be over one of the games this past weekend. So, yeah. Yeah, looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. Um. I guess I like I said I do want to get to at least one one or two per week, so but if y'all got any suggestions you know just put in the comment section which game you want me to check out we can we can have we do that, um yeah let's get started. Over the top, we're at Panda. 58. Ooh, what a cat. Snag. What a snag. One hand. You just miss the camaraderie and the, and the mateship around the footy club. It, it's it's like your second home. I mean, you come here just to hang out all day. So I don't miss the stress of preparation, thinking about footy 24 hours. It drives me stupid even now, and I've been retired for eight years. And then once that's all gone and disappeared, you go, geez, what do I do with myself? So um, I miss that structure a little bit as well. Because you know what's what every day what you're doing. That's probably the big things that I miss the most. Schofield straight down the centre of the ground. The mark taken by Weir Punda. Mark. My hair was my pride and joy back then. That was the most important thing to me. And I suppose hair. now that I think about it, it was. Um, I'm glad I cut it off. <laughs> and <laughs> I suppose being sat down by Moldhouse at the end of '98, I was kind of struggling for three years. He told me to cut my hair and. As soon as I cut my hair, I played every game the next year. So, yeah, make sure you cut your hair. The hair was holding him back. So, yeah, hey, guys, if you feel like you're not playing, just cut your hair off. Just a prime example right here. We're pawning. Boys. Cut your hair, man. Oh, what a snap. What a snap. It's always terrible feeling to, I suppose, lose any finals game. But a grand final really does cut you deep. But that feeling of knowing you were so close it haunts you today a little bit. Um, but made the next year a lot more sweeter. And I think that having that feeling going into the pre-season phase, everyone was a bit different and more hungry. I just remember thinking about all those little one percenters that generally in the past that I didn't really care about, I started to focus on as an individual as well. So Because you wanted to go back and witness that, that feeling nice. again. That was nice. Look at that. Fortunate enough to get over the line, so yeah, it's a pretty special feeling. The World Punda Foundation is our 12th year now, so we've been going pretty strong since 2005, and all the programs are now got a lot of stability behind it. Uh, our brand and name has, has really grown significantly. We've got a national footprint now, and we have over 56 staff. So all these programs now are significant in the space of education, health, employment. We've got a specific girls program which is um, really attractive federally across the country. And now we've got the uh, Girls Footy Academy, which is exciting That's because hard. it gives Shuts us an out. opportunity to have a few Indigenous girls transition through to the West Coast Eagles, which would be quite nice to see. And the relationship with the Eagles has really helped over the last 10 years. Well, a lot of the boys do part-time work at the Weir Foundation once a week. So for me to kind of have a chat with them and see you know, what they're enthusiastic about outside of footy is important to me. I enjoy the way yeah, they're going about it. Yes, we've had a big start as a footy club to this <laughs> year and, um, and a lot of that is their, is their commitment and attitude towards uh, their training and preparation. And you can see that outside of footy, which is um, which is impressive. Hey man, shouts out. I know I know like I said it was short, but it's one you know one to peep, one to peep. David Raponda, man. I, I'm not sure if he even said his name his last during the video, so I'm probably butchering his name. 
But it seemed like he had a great career, good career. It's good to see what he's doing outside of the game after you know he retired his little foundation. It's always always good to see. Always great to see players, you know, give back, you know, to your community, your you know, home city, whatever. So big up biggest for him. So yeah, man, you guys don't forget to like and sub it. Comment down below. You guys start some reactions. I'll see you guys later.